There are many monitoring tools used in the neonatal intensive care unit today. These devices measure vital functions such as cardiac and respiratory status and alert clinicians when there is a situation requiring intervention. They are of tremendous value as point of care tools. But what about the infant's neurological status? How can a clinician understand the overall health of the infant's brain? Historically, newborn brain function was assessed via clinical observation of functions, such as response to stimulation, tone, and nature of the cry. Diagnostic tests like the EEG are often ordered and provide a one-hour snapshot of the baby's brain function. While this diagnostic information is extremely valuable, it doesn't offer the bedside clinician long-term brain function information. Since seizures are oftentimes random, very subtle, and in some cases subclinical, if the baby was not actively seizing during the one-hour EEG study, they could be missed. What if there was a bedside brain monitor that was easy to apply, easy to use, and easy to interpret? How valuable would it be to know the infant's cerebral function status? Would it be helpful to know if the baby's cerebral function is changing over time, if the infant is seizing, or if the infant is responding to anti-epileptics or other medical therapy? The Olympic Brains Monitor, or OBM, is a cerebral function monitor cleared for use in your NICU. The OBM measures and records raw EEG and displays an easy-to-read trend line called the Amplitude Integrated EEG, or AEEG. There are numerous clinical studies referencing AEEG use in the infant population that present repeatable results in terms of expected brain function in multiple disease states and various gestational ages. Just as an EKG monitor uses three electrodes on the chest to measure the electrical contractility of the heart, the OBM uses two to four electrodes on the baby's head to measure the electrical activity of the brain. And, just as the clinician is trained to recognize cardiac patterns such as sinus rhythm, bradycardia, or ventricular tachycardia on the EKG monitor, the clinician can be trained to identify the various background patterns of the brain and seizures on the OBM. Most NICUs rely on cardiac monitors for their most fragile patients and perform diagnostic cardiac workups as needed. The OBM is used in a similar fashion, and babies are often sent for neurology consultations based on clinical evidence supported by AEEG. Cerebral function monitoring is commonly used in NICUs offering hypothermia treatment for infants with hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. These babies are critically ill and have suffered an insult to their brain during birth. They are also at the highest risk for seizures, which can further damage their already injured brain. Clinicians are motivated to know the status of the initial injury immediately to assist in the decision as to whether hypothermia treatment is appropriate. Since many of these babies may be sedated during hypothermia, the Olympic Brains Monitor may also be very helpful in allowing clinicians to visualize seizures. Newborn seizures may be difficult to manage, and some infants require multiple doses or multiple lines of medication so understanding the neurological response is critical. This has been the driving factor for the use of cerebral function monitoring of babies with HIE to understand the initial injury, to understand if seizures are present and whether they are responding to therapy, and to understand whether the baby's brain is improving or declining with hypothermia treatment. This prognostic information is extremely valuable not only to clinicians, but to the parents who are scared and confused. What about other babies in the NICU? Would they benefit from AEEG monitoring? Any baby who is at risk for cardio or respiratory compromise is at risk for cerebral impact. This may include babies with sepsis, PBHN, meconium aspiration, cardiac malformations, diaphragmatic hernia, grade three or four bleeds, babies with inborn errors of metabolism, babies experiencing neonatal abstinence syndrome, and babies who are post-surgery or post-cardiac arrest. 
When you think about all of the babies in your NICU right now, how many would fall into one of these categories? How many of them would you be interested in knowing more about the overall neurological status? It is universally agreed that EEG is the gold standard for clinical diagnosis, just as a full EKG is the gold standard for clinical diagnosis in certain cardiac cases. They are performed by expert technicians specifically trained in electrode setup, placement, and maintenance throughout the entire procedure. These tests are then interpreted by highly skilled cardiologists and neurologists. Cerebral function monitoring with the Olympic Brains Monitor is not intended as a diagnostic tool or as a replacement for EEG, but instead as an addition to the NICU's full armament of monitoring devices. The OBM uses a limited electrode configuration of only two or four active electrodes on the head and one ground electrode on the trunk. We recognize that electrode placement and application is paramount to successful long-term monitoring, and nurses and nurse practitioners often play a key role. Natus has a long history of successfully teaching clinicians to utilize electrodes for other purposes, primarily hearing screening, which is also measuring brainstem activity in response to sound. We have developed a number of on-demand learning modules specific to best practices for electrode use, device use, and AEEG trace assessment. Our goal is to ensure the OBM is successfully utilized for every AEEG monitoring candidate. Also included in the education package is a sample policy and procedure and competency evaluation checklist to ensure you are meeting your ongoing hospital standard for demonstrating medical device proficiency. Once an infant has begun cerebral function monitoring, the AEEG will begin to develop as a representation of brain function displayed in a trend. Interpretation is based on the upper and lower margins of the trend the presence or absence of sleep-wake cycles, and the identification of seizures. The Olympic Brains Monitor features recognized seizure detection and background pattern classification software. These tools greatly assist early users in defining their interpretation skills. Natus further supports the clinician by providing on-demand learning modules and a clinical reference guide. Partnership with your neurology department often plays a pivotal role in successful monitoring programs. The OBM is equipped to provide remote reviewing for situations where the neurologist or neonatologist wishes to consult regarding a specific trace. Medical staff need only have access to the hospital's network to access and review the infant's bedside recording. Many clinicians like you have already embraced cerebral function monitoring. Here's what they have to say. Continuous AEEG monitoring can be used to identify early signs of neurologic compromise, monitor the effects of treatments, and evaluate responses to environmental stress. Several studies have shown that, although the initial seizures are often clinical, subsequent seizures after administration of the first anti-epileptic drug are often subclinical. 58% of the infants with seizures persisting after treatment with AEDs showed uncoupling of electrical and clinical seizures. The AEEG can play an important role in the detection of these subclinical seizures. Compared with management based on clinical seizure detection alone, the use of AEEG has been shown to reduce the total seizure duration in neonates. Hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy, HIE, after perinatal asphyxia in term neonates causes long-term neurologic sequela, or death. In these critically ill neonates, a reliable evidence-based prognosis is of key importance to correctly inform parents and caretakers regarding the possible long-term neurodevelopmental consequences. Cerebral function monitoring with the Olympic Brains Monitor for your most fragile babies.